I want to recreate a freeze game with the same mechanics, animations and scoring. What is freeze? Many of you might remember the 2048, one of the most cloned games of all time, where you simply swap the blocks and sum them up to the bigger number. But 2048 has been in fact a ripoff of a different game, Freeze. The gameplay is somewhat similar, but its design is gorgeous and with all its animations it won't be that easy to replicate. Let's start by designing a simple game board, tiles and those small little shadows. There are already some differences in how everything looks, but I decided not to copy game assets one by one. Then I started with an empty Unity project, created a simple Unity canvas and began coding a tile script. In Freeze, game tile can be either a 1, 2, these are unique blocks and they sum up only with each other, or 3, 6, 12 and so on using this simple equation. So I coded that and for debug created a simple button that changes the block value. Finally, the block spawning. Here I created a tiles manager and a method that spawns random blocks at the random positions. Ok, now let's move to Dragon. Both in 2048 and simple web version of Freeze, Dragon is instant, but in our app we'd like to make it live, so that the player can preview the next move. We need to start with determining the direction which player is swiping. The idea is to look at the first 20 pixels of the drag and depending which direction has the highest value, the one will be selected. After a bit of coding, you can see the game properly recognizes mouse movements. Now, let's make it visible to the player. For now, we are moving everything instead of changing the position of each tile. I simply move the group that contains all the blocks. At the end, I've also added snapping to the grid. But there is something unnatural about the swiping. Look at these blocks. They just jump to the correct position and I want to make it a bit more natural. So I spend next 20 minutes animating them. Look at this. Next, dragging only valid blocks. So currently we drag the whole group tiles and my idea is to throw all the tiles we'd like to move into a separate game object. The script that determines which tiles should be moved was a bit tricky, but I finally figured that out. Of course, I also had to update the moved blocks in the script, not only their positions. Yeah, it works. And works pretty well, but... Hey, you two, shouldn't you merge with each other? This one was pretty simple. I just needed to modify a script to look at the next tile and if it can be merged, remove it and give another tile a higher value. I've then added this little animation to update the block and I was so happy with the result that I compiled a mobile version and tested it out on my phone. Next, block spawning. In Freeze, block spawns from the same direction you just swapped in, not like in 2048, where it spawned in just a random position. So after creating a new script called Spawn Manager and a few minutes, we have a working game. Really, we can now play it and try to get higher tiles. From this stage, development became pretty hard because I started to play the game forgetting that I have some other things to do like adding animation to spawning blocks, adding next block indicator and some more response to dragging. What I mean by the last one? So in freeze game, all the tiles on the board are responsive to your touch, even if they can't move. That makes the whole experience much smoother and gives some feedback which move can you make. So I've added a small animation that squishes all not moving blocks, based on the drag distance. Now the game is totally finished and when we fill out our board completely, we see a game over? Ah, totally forgot about that. So I wrote a method that after each move, the game checks if player can swipe in any direction. If not, the game displays a game over screen, which of course we need to create. 
Game screen is one big animation that basically kills all the tiles and scores them based on the custom equation. So I had to create a grayscale versions of all my tiles and a small animation that will kill them and display a score for each block. Then I created a game over script that sorts all the tiles based on their values and generates an animation that kills them and scores in that order. Last but not least, we finish things up with the operation I called Happy. So here is the animation Happy Score. Here is the script called Make Happy that makes the tiles jump after they find their soulmate. And here is Check Happy that marks the tile with the highest points red. And here it is, I present to you the Freeze Game clone version. And that's it, see you on the next video.